Senate projection right now. It's in the state of Alabama. And Tommy Tuberville is going to be the next senator from the state of Alabama. Republican, former Auburn football coach, defeated Senator Doug Jones, a Democrat who was seeking his first full term. Of course, he won a special election in 2017. Uh, John Carl, uh, the president had a lot of personal interest in this race. He did. This was Jeff Sessions' seat, and Jeff Sessions left the seat to become Donald Trump's attorney general and to become Donald Trump's hated attorney general. And when Sessions tried to get his seat back, the president endorsed Tommy Tuberville uh, and worked very hard, actually, to get Sessions to lose. Not a surprise that Doug Jones uh, is losing here. Uh, this was really a, 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 a once-in-a-lifetime situation that brought Doug Jones, a Democrat, representing uh, Alabama in the Senate. So, Mary Bruce, one pickup for the Democrats, one pickup for the Republicans. We're back to where we started. Exactly. We are back to ground zero essentially here tonight. If you look at the math then, in order for Democrats to be able to flip the Senate, they now need a net gain of three seats if Joe Biden wins. Again, that's because Kamala Harris would then become that tie-breaking uh, vice presidential vote. Uh, if Donald Trump wins, then they would need a net gain of four seats tonight. Democrats, though, of course, are very optimistic that they can still tonight gain the majority. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.